Hello, my name is TTJ Kepsi Ruchi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Night after night call for peace and day after day calls for knowledge. Today we are here to seek another knowledge in partial differential equation and our attention will be on solution to first order partial differential equation using the method of Langrach. So before this video will end today, I will tell you what the first order partial differential equations are, the forms they take, then how to find solutions to the first order partial differential equations using the method of Langrach. This will be a very interesting discussion, so take a seat. So, first we will learn what a first order partial differential equations are and the forms they, they take. We say first order partial differential equations are partial differential equations in which all the partial derivatives are of order one. Of order one. Remember we classify partial differential equations uh, in terms of order, degree, linearity, homogeneity, and as well as having a constant or a variable partial differential equation. Now, if you have not watched any of those videos, please go to YouTube, search for TTJ Kepsi Richie, and watch those videos. So, all the partial derivatives are of order one. So they take this form, look at that, they take a form like this. So if we let the P or a, a function of X and Y be A, you have A of U of X, A, the partial derivative, uh, differential of U with respect to X plus B, the partial differential of U with respect to Y equal to any function, being it a constant or a function of X, Y, and the dependent variable U, the dependent variable U. Now the next thing we'll do is that, when they ask us to find solutions to this kind of equation, that's first order partial differential equation, using the method of Langrach, we need two things. We need to find the general form, how the general form of the equation will look like, the general solution, how it will look like. Then, we need to learn how to form the characteristics equation. So, the method of Langrach is also then the method of characteristics. So the next thing is that we will learn how to form the function or the general solution of first order partial differential equation using the method of Langrage and how to form the characteristics equation. So remember we said this is the general form that a first order partial differential equations take. So the solution to this using the method of Langrage will be a function of pi comma far equal to zero. What is the pi and the far? The pi and the far are the constant we get from solving our uh, characteristics equation. That is the constant we get. Remember we get two constants. So the pi is equal to the first constant and the far is equal to the second constant. Now, how do we form characteristics equation? The characteristics equation is very simple. You see, this, this is partial differential of u with respect to x, right? So you just write the x over the coefficient here, a. And it will be equal to the partial differential of u with respect to y is a. So we write dy over the coefficient here, b. And it will be equal to this. Because there is no partial uh, uh, derivative attached, it is the differential of the dependent variable over that. Over that. So this becomes our characteristics equation. Uh, this becomes our characteristics equation. So how do you get your constant? That's the power and the power. You take one of these equated to this. To, to solve. Thus, thus, you can solve dx over a equal to dy over b. When you solve this, you remember you can solve this by integrating both sides. Then you can solve dy over b equal to 
the U over your R. Once you solve this, then you get your constant. So the next thing is that we take a sample question and we apply all these things so that you get a concept. So look at the first question. So find the general solution to the partial differential equation to the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus the partial de derivative of u with respect to y equal to 2y using the method of Lagrange. Please at times you see the method of characteristics. Remember they are the same. They are the same. So what's the first thing you do? You need to form the you need to write the for the general solution. The general solution will be in the form pi comma phi equal to zero. Remember the pi and the phi are the constant you get from the characteristics equation. So we form the characteristics equation. So that will be dx over the coefficient of that and to be equal to dy over the coefficient. Remember the coefficient there is one and to be equal to our dependent du over this 2y. So what's the next thing? We equate this and this. So we have dx over 2 is equal to dy over 1. So what do we do? To remove this fraction, we can cross multiply. So this multiply this, you get dx. Then this multiply this, you get 2 dy. What's the next thing? We integrate both sides. So our integral ds will be equal to 2 integral dy. Remember this is constant, we can bring it up. So we integrate this, we get x. And to be equal to, we integrate this, we get 2y. Plus our constant of integration, maybe c1. Then we make c1 the subject. Our c1 will be equal to x minus 2y. Remember we said c1 is a power, is a power. So we can see that our pi is equal to x minus 2y. The next thing is that we equate this one to this and, and integrate both sides to get our c2. So we equate this two as well. So we can cross multiply. So we get our 2y dy will be equal to d u. The next thing we integrate both sides. So we get the integral of 2y dy will be equal to the integral of du. So when we integrate this, we can get y squared. Remember the law of integration. And to be equal to, when we integrate this, we get u plus our constant of integration. We may see to the subject. Our c2 will be equal to y2, a uh, y squared minus u. And remember, we said our c2. Is far is the far yeah this part our c2 is the far c1 is pi c2 is the far so you can say it's equal to far equal to y square minus c so our general solution which is pi comma far equal to zero will be what's our pi our pi is x minus 2y. So we have x minus 2y comma. What's our far? Our far is y squared minus u and is equal to zero. This becomes our general solution. For this, our partial differential equation using the method of Langrach. Using the method of Langrach. I will solve another question again so that you get use. To the method. So we solve the second question. Is a find the general solution to the partial differential equation this using the method of Lagrange. Remember, it's the same as the method of characteristics. So what's the first thing? We we'll form we'll write down the general form of the solution. So that would be pi comma far pi comma far equal to and remember, pi and pi are the constant from our characteristics equation. So form the characteristics equation. Remember, this is the partial differential of u with respect to x. So we have the x over the coefficient of 1 plus x squared. And to be equal to, this is the partial differential of u with respect to y. So we say 
dy over the coefficient. The coefficient, remember, is 1. And to be equal to dr dependent variable over what is the 0. Please, this is not undefined. It's a characteristic equation. So it does not necessarily mean it's undefined. No. So what is the next thing? We take this, equate this to this, and try to find the solution to get our C1. That's our constant 1. So we have dx over 1 plus x squared is equal to dy over 1. This is already separable. So there is no need to cross multiply. We have 1 over 1, 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is equal to dy. dy over 1 is dy. So we integrate. So we find the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx and to be equal to the integral of dy. What's the next thing? When we integrate this, remember, what do we get? We get tan inverse. Tan inverse of x. Very, very important. And to be equal to integral of this will be y plus our constant c1. Then we make c1 a subject. Our c1, which is equal to pi, will be equal to tan inverse of x minus our y. Minus the y. The next thing is that we equate this to this again, to the dependent. Then we try to find solutions to that. Okay, so we equate this to, to the dependent. So what we do this time we can cross multiply so that this will not be undefined as we are thinking. So if this multiply this will get du and to be equal to zero times dy. So du will be equal to what? Zero. This will be zero. Then we integrate both sides. So integral du will be equal to integral zero. So the integral of du will be u and the integral will just be constant. That's c2. So our c2 which is equal to far is equal to g. So our solution, our general solution, which is a function of pi comma far is equal to zero, will just be a function of what is our pi? This is our pi. Tan inverse of x minus y. So we replace that. Tan inverse of x minus y comma what's our far? Our far is u, so u, and is equal to zero. So this becomes our general solution to this partial differential equations using the method of Lagrange or the method of character axis. I hope you understand this. Play over the video, and I know that you get a concept. So I have a trial on the board. And I indulge you to try it and, and leave your answers in my comment box so that we'll see if you are correct, if you are really grab the concept. You see, find the general solution, the partial differential equation is that's the square root of 1 minus x squared, the partial, the, the partial differential of u to respect to x plus the partial differential of u to respect to y equal to 0 using the method of Lagrange. Using the method of Lagrange. Please try to solve it. I know you can do it. So try to solve it and leave your answers in my comment box. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very, very necessary. And click on the notification bell so that if I post a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Until we meet again, bye bye.